All right, so back at you here with another microphone roundup. This time we're gonna be talking about budget microphones. The most recent one we did was with like just the best of the best. I think we got up into like 200 or maybe 250 bucks, somewhere right around there. But all of these microphones are gonna be roughly right around 50 bucks, give or take a couple. As you see, we have the Yeti Nano over here, you know? And then all of these microphones are gonna be straight plugged and played right into my Razor Blade 17 into OBS, press record. No software tweaking, no adjusting anything, plug and play with the cables that came with them, just that raw out of the box experience. So as you can see, we have a few options here. Again, the uh, Snowball, whatever, the Snowball Ice over here, the Razer Siren Mini, the Solo Cast, this Moano, I'm not even sure what the Fairy, Moano Fairy over here, and then the Yeti Nano. Why have the Yeti Nano here? I know it's a $100 microphone, but all the time you can find it for right around 60 bucks. So I understand it's not really fair to include it in here because we're going off a sale price. The regular rest of them are MSRP, but I just had to. I really had to because I honestly really like that mic. And I remember it in the past test, a lot of people said, well, hey man, how about just a mod mic? So I have all three of them here, but the one that's going to keep it in to this price point is going to be the one going 3.5. So yes, I will include a mod mic test as well. All right, so we're gonna start off with the blue snowball here. Right now you are still here in my video microphone, but in one, two, three, we are now using the blue snowball here. And again, we are plugged straight in by USB into my razor blade and you're hearing the blue snowball right now. I'd say you're about a foot from me right now. Now if I pull it closer and if I get right up on it, this is what you're gonna sound like. Now I am talking a little bit lower because again, I'm right on it. Now there's no controls on the microphone, not a mute switch, not volume or anything. So everything's gonna be controlled in your device, whether your software or your game or whatever. Let's go on and scooch it over. By the way, also this microphone stand that's here is, is not included. This is a, uh, what is this called? An on stage, really nice heavy duty mic stand here. I really like the mic stand that comes with this thing is a piece of junk. This guy right here is like, I don't know, 10 or 20 bucks or something. Really awesome mic stand if you're looking for that. It also extends. Anyways, back to the microphone here. So this is the Blue Snowball. Again, straight plugged in, USB into OBS. And this is what it does sound like. Right up on me here, this is what you sound like as well. Say if it was on an arm over here, it'd be on the side. This is what it would sound like there. Now let's say if it's just sitting on a table, you all know I do these during my technique talks. If I just sit back and I'm just talking regularly, just hanging out, just chatting. This is what it sounds like. I got a little bit of sound dampening here. PC's running, got a fan running over there. And again, a little bit of sound dampening. And this is what it would sound like like that. Coming back, this is what it sounds like right up on it. So all in all, this is the Blue Yeti Snowball. Now let me see, now my arm's also touching this wire, so I'm just curious, I've been letting it do that because I want to see if it's picking up any sound right there. So let me go into Amazon, and then let's see, Blue Snowball. I wonder if it's actually gonna pull up the mic. Yeah, it will, <laughs> okay. So this mic is coming in roughly around $40. Now they got the Blue Snowball like a upgraded version? I don't know, it's 60 bucks. I haven't used that, I'm not too sure, but this one we have right here, regular MSRP, 50, but right now you can get it for right around 40. So all in all, first microphone, the Blue Snowball. Let's get to the next mic. All right, so now for our next microphone. Again, right now you're here in my regular video microphone, but in one, two, three, you're now here in the HyperX SoloCast microphone right now. And I really like this microphone. Even with my standalone review, I really loved it. It's 60 bucks MSRP, but all day long these days, you can find this microphone for 50 bucks. And at a $50 microphone, the reason I like it is it's packing a lot for, again, a budget microphone, right? Number one, if we look at the microphone here, you see a little button up top, that's actually your mute button, and it just works just like the quadcast. You simply tap it and it mutes, and you have the little red light at the top right there. Now, I'm talking back here into the microphone, but again, As you see, it flashes whenever it's muted. I love that notification, and I love just having that simple mute button, bam, right on it right there. And remember, with the snowball, we had none of that. But again, the simplicity, like if you put this on an arm or whatever, and it's right there, boop. Again, it's the same features that it has on a quadcast, minus, you know, the adjustability or the RGB or stuff like that. Plugs right into USB-C on the back right there. And it comes with this stand. The stand's decent. You have adjustability on it. Tilt it back about that far there. Tilt it forward right there. But the other cool thing is you can angle it and it actually goes into those notches. Now, of course, if it's right on this stand here, you're probably not gonna angle it. But the cool thing about that is that detaches and it'll go onto your regular arm if you want. You can attach it that way and tweak it that way. 
But again, whatever you want. If you just want it off to the side over here while you're gaming, bam, coming at you. Really cool to have that, again, at a $50 microphone. I love the features. But all in all, as far as the sound, you've been talking right here. If I'm sitting back, this is what it sounds like. Again, just sitting back regular with the microphone on the table here. You know what I forgot to do with the uh, Snowball? I wanted to do a mic test as well. And again, kind of take this as, okay, you're at your desk, right? We're sitting here. I don't have a desk mat. We're sitting on a stock stand. If I'm typing on a keyboard, that's with the mic behind the keyboard here. So if I had the mic closer, say if my keyboard's behind it, let's see what it sounds like. So we're seeing that. I've seen a whole lot of pickup come up on there, but my concern is not necessarily the keyboard sound, but how much radiation we're getting through with this. Again, you have the microphone, a little bit of foam on the bottom, rubber right down there to prevent some of that, but I'm sure we're getting a lot of radiation there. So with these budget mics, I really think we're going to want like a mic arm with them as well. But all in all, this is the HyperX SoloCast coming in at 50 bucks. Again, that you can find it all day long right here. HyperX SoloCast, 50 bucks. On to the next mic. All right, now for our next microphone is the Razer Siren Mini. Again, we're starting off with my video microphone, but in one, two, three, we are now using the Razer Siren Mini microphone. And just by looking at my graph over here on OBS, again, my settings have been the exact same and they will be the exact same through every single mic test. But the Siren Mini is picking up the least amount. Is it because it's smaller and it's further away from me? So let's see if I come right up onto it here. Now we're starting to peak up right there. I'm not sure how I'm sounding. I'm still talking regular. I didn't talk quiet or anything. I'm right up on it. And now we're starting to get to the same levels as the other two microphones we just did right there. But again, it is the smaller microphone. You can look at it right here. It is a tiny little guy. Connects right down here on the bottom. You have this little base. On top of it feeling tiny, it feels chintzy. It does feel very chintzy out of all the ones we're testing here. Even the other ones we have coming up. It just, it's a mini mic. Maybe that's what they're going for, a nice portable. Maybe that's what we take it as. Something that you're using for your laptop, you're going on a trip and you got to catch that call or that Zoom conference or something like that. That's where I'd see something like this. As far as the mic quality, we're going to have to see that as far as the sound back. But as far as build and, you know, that, ah, just that quality you're getting from it, it feels quite chintzy to me. But all in all, the sound, we just saw how I sounded with it. Let's see if I'm sitting back, just regular. Sitting on the table right here, just chatting with you. This is what it will sound like that. Again, talking at regular volume right here. This is what it's seeing. And again, my setting, my graph is showing a little bit less right there. So I'm really curious to see what this one sounds like. But all in all, let's go on and get that keyboard test on this guy as well. Let's go on and pull the keyboard out here, scooch our box over. Okay, so the mic's right behind the keyboard here. Now let's go ahead and pull it back behind it. I just want to see what kind of vibration we're getting with this little guy. It says there's a shock mount in this as well. So I'm excited to see what that comes up like on the test because that also is that just, you know, how much sensitivity it's picking up, but it was also uh, less amount than the other ones we tested there as well. So I'm excited to see how this one turns out. But this microphone right here, the Cyber Mini, regular MSRP is 50 bucks, but all day long these days, I'll pull it up right here. You can get it for right at $40. That's a stinking steal. That's a really good deal. You can also get it in white or pink. We have the black version right here. One other thing, not to sound like I'm just complaining about this microphone, but one thing I don't like is that there's no mute switch or anything. Like, I don't need the volume adjustment, but I love a mute switch somewhere on it where there's really a button or something. But again, there's nothing on this. So again, it has to be controlled to your software, your macro, your shortcut you save on your keyboard or something like that. But as is, it's a microphone plugged out of the box, and that's pretty much what you get. And that is the Razer Siren Mini. All right, so now for our next microphone is the Moano Fairy microphone. Again, starting off with my regular video microphone. In one, two, three, we are now using the Moano Fairy microphone here. And this microphone, coming in at 50 bucks, is packing a lot of features. Let's hope that the sound is just as good as the features it's packing. When you look at this microphone right here, as you see, you have your mic gain adjustment there, headphone adjustment. This is also a mute switch. You simply press it down, it clicks, and that will mute it for you. Flipping it over, you have multiple patterns to pick from and your headphone port. And the build of this microphone is solid. The entire deal is metal. The bass, now is it this big heavy duty bass? No, it's not, but it's, it's solid. The arms down here are metal. 
the whole microphone's metal. Now the knobs I just showed you, those are plastic, but whatever. Even a USB that I got plugged into the laptop here, the end of it is metal. It's like, wow, it's stinking awesome, you know what I mean? Again, let's see if the sound sticks up today here. As far as the gain, I gotta sit right in the middle right here. And so far, I've just been talking kind of regular. Now, if I talk right up onto it right here, this is what we're going to sound like with the Murano Ferry. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. But anyways, this is what we sound like right up on it. Now, if I sit back just doing a regular chat, this is what we're going to sound like with the room environment, PC chugging, fan chugging. See how we sound. Now, it seems like it's picking up a little bit more background noise. I'm not too sure. Again, I'm going to have to listen to these back with you guys. But as is, I see a little bit of jumpiness in there. Like, it's real sensitive. I'm not too sure. i have to see what that is. But all in all, I really love the quality of this microphone again when i took it out of the box i'm like wow 50 bucks for this thing you know not bad not bad at all at 50 bucks and again we're straight plugged in usb into there no software no tweaking no nothing set right there and the features again that are on this microphone are awesome at 50 bucks the mic mute the gain adjustment the headphone adjustment and the awesome build at 50 bucks so far before the sound test i'll be testing this with you guys right but out of the box experience is stinking awesome on this Moano Ferry. All right, so now for our next mic is the Mod Mic Uni right here. Again, you're here, my video mic, but in one, two, three, you are now here in the Mod Mic Uni. I don't have it hooked up to anything, but we'll plug it into the uh, Audio Technicas or connect it to them, whatever. Um, you have your mic controls right on this little guy right here. As you see, you have. And then the mic active right there. Now you're probably also seeing this little amp I have right here. When I plug this in just straight into my PC or the laptop here, it wouldn't sync up right there. Probably have to be a combo split within the headset. I'm not too sure. So anyways, I had to plug in my little amp and then go that way. By the way, the microphone's up over here. So we'll see how it sounds like that, right? If it's right in front of us over here, this is what it'll sound like. If it's far away, that's what it will sound like right there. Now, if... The point of these mod mics, of course, is be able to attach it to any pair of headphones or headset that you have. Again, Audio Technica ATHM 50X. You connect this little deal right on the back there, and then you have it on the microphone, and it magnetizes right onto it there. So I'm going to take it, and we'll put it on. And now it's just like any old regular gaming headset. Now let me tell you guys, I got the volume set at the same level as every other mic we have tested here. And yikes, this one is going into the red. And I can't adjust mic volume in this amp or anything, but uh, this microphone is cranking loud. So uh, this one might have to be toned down a little bit. As far as keyboard test here, my shift is stuck. Again, how it magnetized on the side. So if I try to adjust it, it almost like becomes, you know, it detaches right there. I'm honestly not a huge fan of the mod mic. I think it's a great option if you're looking for a quick, easy microphone to upgrade your headphones or whatever. Um, again, I have all of them, the wireless, the USB, and the 3.5. I'm just not a big fan of them because, again, you have the microphone here. It does attach really good, but you have a little bit of weight right here. Then you got this cable hanging down. Then you also have the cable coming from your headset or headphones. And it's just, it's just messy, right? It's just messy. It's not my preferred setup. But again, just for the sake of test, peeing them up here as an option, this is the Mod Mic Uni right here. All right, so now for our last microphone here is the Blue Yeti Nano. Again, first off, you're here in my recording microphone, and now in one, two, three, we are hearing the Blue Yeti Nano. And I know some people are probably like, hey man, it's not really fair to put this in the budget class, right? Because the MSRP on this guy is a hundred bucks, but a lot of times, even how I got mine, I believe it was right at 60 and some change or something like that. So we'll put it right at that $60 price range. Black Friday coming up, the holidays and everything. I think you'll be able to scoop it up for that much. And I really like this microphone. Again, the straight out the box experience, it's just quality. It feels great. It's metal. It, you know, you have your mute button right on the top right there. It turns red when it's muted. It's just a really solid microphone. Two different patterns right back here. The mic stand is heavy duty and metal as well, even though a lot of us probably won't use that, you know, as far as the sound. This is what it sounds like when I'm right up on the microphone here. I am peeking into the yellow here, so it is picking up a little bit more than some of the first few, the uh, solo cast or the razor or anything like that. Now, whenever I sit back, back here, picking up the room environment, it just actually started pouring outside. Laptops chugging, fans chugging over there, and you're seeing what that sounds like there. But anyways, if you had an arm or something and it's right here on you, this is what it will sound like. Again, I can't stress it enough. The quality of this microphone is awesome. Yeah, yeah. I know it's a $100 microphone, 
So it's not truly fair, but you know, with my experience with this microphone, it's one of those ones that I'd say, hey, wait till you see that price point. You know what I mean? Keyboard test. Let's go on and get the microphone behind us and see what it sounds like. Oh, our cable's getting stuck. All right, microphone's behind the keyboard. So it looked like it was picking up a fair amount. It's almost like when I when I look at this video, before I even go back and listen to these and come back and give you my uh, uh, feedback as far as the sound of them, it seems like we went like the lowest pickup up to the highest. Well, actually, the mod mic was the highest even over this, you know, but uh, talking from the side of this microphone, if you have it back here, that's how it would sound over there. Again, you have multiple patterns. So you can pick up the entire room. So now I went ahead and clicked that. Now we're doing the... Uh, what is it? Circular pattern? I don't know what that's called. But anyways, that's what that is right there, right? We can click that over here. Again, the quality of this thing just in your hand is it's a nice piece of equipment. I really, really do like it. But all in all, this is the Blue Yeti Nano mic test. Okay, so that was all of our mic tests right there. I actually just went here and just briefly listened to all of them. Of course, when I go to edit it, I'll listen to them a lot more, but listen to them and kind of round them up right there. I mean, clear as day, no questions asked, the Blue Yeti Nano is the best. But of course, the regular MSRP is the, MSRP is the most expensive out of all of them. But I still stick to my words right there. I would wait for that sale to come and get the Blue Yeti Nano whenever you can catch it around 60 or something. But even talking to that 60, still more than these right here right so again it's kind of it's hard because you say oh, it's not fair to be in this competition but again being so close it's such a good product i put it right there now let's talk about the other ones that are in this lineup the worst one out of this lineup is this moana there was so much noise in the background when i was listening to it right here so much noise to make it unbearable i love the build as i stated i love the features on it but there was so much noise it was picking up right there shockingly the other one that sounded really awesome was the Razer. And why I say shockingly is because again, it was just this little puny little lightweight microphone. You know what I mean? I really liked it, but it is a stinker, the lack of features. I don't need much on it. I just need a mute button, a mute switch or something. Yeah, you can control it on your keyboard. I understand that, right? But I like the simplicity right there, notification on the microphone and it's bam and it's done. Kind of like we saw in the solo cast. The solo cast was also another really good one. A little bit more, high-pitched sound than the Razer, in my personal opinion, you know? Of course, you can tweak all this in a software, you know what I mean? But um, my pick would be Nano, Mini, Solo Cast. Don't even consider these other two. That'd be my pick. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Again, this is just straight up raw mic test with you guys. No software tweaking or nothing. Everything's left to the same, plugged and played. And I wanted to give you that raw mic test right there. Let me know what you guys think. What did you think was best out of all these? And do you do you stand by my opinion with the Nano? Like, yeah, let me wait for that sale to come by. And I think it's really going to justify and be that better purchase in the long run. Let me know what you guys think right down there. But all in all, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. I hope I was able to help you out and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future tech videos. And I hope we catch you in the next one. Bye now.